Now then guys, how are you doing? Craig here and thank you for joining me on another how to. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the new face packs onto FM23. So, hope I find you well and this is easy to understand. So first of all, we need to find a place to get our face packs from and I always use Sorted Out SI and here we go, we're on the home page and as you can see, Football Manager Essentials, Player Faces is where I want to be and now we have the options of the Cutout Player Faces Mega Pack, the DF11 Mega Pack, the Action Players Mega Pack and the Flayus Gunzo Faces Mega Pack. Now for me, I just like the standard Cutout Players Faces Mega Pack so I'm going to click on that and then I will go to the download options. Then we get on to the individual settings. For me, I would download, if you haven't got this already, by the way, I would download the complete pack, which is just under 10 gigs, so it's a mighty pack. But looking at it, obviously, we've got the option here to download similar packs. Obviously, FM23 starts here, as it says. And if you've already got the mega pack, then you can just update the file. But I'm just going to talk you through as though you haven't got any of it whatsoever. So we're going to download the complete pack. This then sets the wheels in motion, and I'm downloading it using a WinRAR file. So to use WinRAR, if you haven't already got it on your computer, just type in WinRAR on your Google box. First one you pick will bring you to this, so you've got an option of being able to buy the WinRAR or download a free version of WinRAR. Just clicking on that will get that tool for you, and then you'll be able to use it to download any further packs in the future. So obviously the length of this download comes down to the speed of your internet, I suppose, so get yourself a brew. And yeah, wait until it's downloaded. I say get myself a brew. This one's empty. So it's just a prop at this point. So best get that sorted. Darling. So once downloaded, guys, the WinRAR file will be in your downloads file. And as you can see there, the sorted out SI cutout mega pack is ready to go. So what you need to do is you need to right click and cut that file. You then go onto your documents tab, sports interactive. Football Manager 2023, and then you'll need to put it in your graphics folder. Now, you may not have a graphics folder. It's quite easy to make. So what you want to do is go new folder and name that folder graphics. Click into that graphics folder once it's made. Obviously, you can see there's other bits in there. Your folder may be empty depending on what packs you've got. So I've got kits and logos already uploaded onto there. I want to paste my new file, so that's what I'll do. Paste, and there we go. And all I need to do with that is right-click on the WinRAR and extract to here. And away it'll go. Again, it'll take some time, so time for another coffee. And then once it's done, guys, you will end up with something that looks like this. So it's a sorted out SI where all the faces are. Obviously, you've got icon faces here. That's the smaller faces. And when we go back one, you've got the larger version of those faces. So they're all ready to go. But before we move off this, let's go back to that graphics folder and we'll just delete the WinRAR folder. You can then go to in-game, you then move on to the preferences. You may then end up with a list of preferences that looks like this. If you go off to interface, you may not have the reload skin button. So going down to skin here, make sure that is clicked reload skin when confirming changes in preferences. If you go to reset, clear cache, yes, and then reload skin. Away we go. And then once completed, you should be able to just click on your players. There you go. Tom Heaton, his face on there. Phil Jones, what an absolute baller. And so on and so on. So there you go then, guys. Quite easy, that one, obviously. As long as you follow the steps to the letter. Naturally, if it doesn't work, the chances are one of the steps that we've just gone through isn't right. So from a troubleshooting perspective, I would just go through all those steps again. Follow them, and it will work for you. So yes, thank you very much. I will leave the instructions down below in the description should you need to go, like I say, through step to step. But thanks a lot, take care, and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.